All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Mass Wolves basketball? I know I am. Getting set here in Pembroke, Massachusetts, here at the Wolves Den, home of the second home of the Wolves. Of course, the first one being the Andre McCoy Recreation Center in New Bedford. They will switch uh, venues during the season. We'll have the updated schedule for you after the first or second quarter, maybe even during halftime, we can get you that updated schedule. We'll let you know where we're, when we're playing at the Wolves Den and when we will be playing at the Andre McCoy Recreation Center. A little time to stop it here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Wolves basketball? I know I am, so here we go. Tip off. Run away here from Pembroke, Massachusetts, here at the Wolves Den. And the first and the pass goes to number 23. We'll get you in a minute. Mass Wolves playing their second home game franchise history. They're playing, taking on the New Hampshire Kings, a rebrand of the New Hampshire Rocks. That three from number four. That is Ryan Gauther is no good. Here comes Jules Tavares with the ball for the Wolves. Back out to... Corey Green for three, and he can't get it to go. Rebounder, here come the Kings again. Again, the Wolves playing their second home game. The first one was at the Andrew McCoy Recreation Center. This shot here, in and out. That's number 11, Mo Brighton. Can't get that one to go here. Darren Fernandez here for the Wolves. Wolves will alternate home venues during the 2022-23 season. Kyle Carlson inside a turnover still here for the Wolves. And now taken away by Green, Corey Green. Making look, make a difference. Carlson inside and a foul. Can't get the basket to go, but he is called for the foul. So the turnover for number 23 is Nate Hale. A little funny story about that coming up later in the broadcast. Nate Hale gets the steal. But the Wolves take it right back, and then Carlson called for the foul, so he'll take two free short shots. Foul shots. And the first one he misses, can't get it to go. So as I was saying, this is the Wolves Den Sports Complex in Pembroke, Massachusetts. One of two home venues the Wolves call home. The other one, obviously, the Andre McCoy Recreation Center in New Bedford. Be back there next week, December 11th, as we take on the Bennington Martins in our first of two back-to-back -back games against Bennington. One on the 18th will be in Bennington, Vermont. Outside for the Kings. Three ball. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Fernandez, wearing number 13 today for the Wolves. You go Savon Houston, number 32. This one goes out to Tavares. Tavares inside to Houston. To Savon Houston. Out to Green. Inside to Houston. Houston can't get that one to go. Gets his own rebound, though. Out to Carlson. Out to Tavares for three. Can't get that to go either. And here come the Kings now on the rebound. Still scoreless here. 10 16 left for the first quarter. And the ball goes out of bounds. So the score actually reads 2-2. Two to two. I guess that's the score now. Score 2-2. Two two. I didn't see a big shot. But here's a layup. Blocked. Blocked by Houston, but a foul is called. So let's see who comes to the line for the Kings. Looks like number 12 is coming to the line for the Kings. Number 12 is Khalif Jackson. There about your screen to see Aaron Williams talking to Darren Fernandez. But it's number 12, Khalif Jackson. First shot is up and good. So Kings lead 3-2. 10-12 left here in the first quarter. Second shot up. And can't get it to go. So one of two from the free throw line. For Khalif Jackson, here come the Wolves now down by... Now the score is 3-1. So there you go. We have a score update there. 3-1 is your score. Not sure where the 1 came from. Side to Fernandez. Fernandez loses it. Picked up by Houston. Houston gets it out to, Gr to, Gr to Green. Excuse me. And a turnover. Rebound is blocked. What a, what a block there by Corey Green. Wow. And a foul. But Corey Green coming out of nowhere after losing the ball. Gets the turnover. I guess the blocks. He's not the turnover. And here come the Wolves. After that play there. By Corey Green. Fernandez, foul. Offensive foul. He pushed off. Ball go back over to New Hampshire. Kings, again, the rebrand of the New Hampshire Rockets, who played a couple years ago. A deep three. No good. Rebounded by Houston. Here come the Wolves. Green. Back out to Houston. 
And these games being played at the Wolves Den Sports Complex in Pembroke, Massachusetts. So have a few games here this during the second half of the 2022-23 season for the Wolves. Tavares for three. No good. Another team doing well shooting the ball here today. Outside. Ooh, almost lost it there. Back inside the Jackson. Jackson can't get it to go. Gets his rebound. This shot is good. Nice shot there for Kareem Jackson. Kareem Jackson, excuse me. K-A-R-I-F. And the score should read 4 nothing. We'll get you confirmation at halftime. Because the scoreboard behind me says 5-1, but it should be 4 to nothing in favor of the Kings. Back up to Green now. Green. Fernandez to Carlson. Carl Taylor Carlson has emerged as the top player. And that's going to be a shot clock violation on the Wolves. So things just not looking well for the Wolves here. Start off this one. They're still are searching, by the way, for that first win of the year. 0-3. Oh, they did lose two weeks to go to the mass wave, but that was a 9 ABA game. Does not count toward the standings. So they are 0-3 oh, by losing four games. From outside. Now going inside, a layup, no good. Rebounded by Houston. Here comes Fernandez with the ball. Going inside, spinning away, layup, and a foul. Looks like it may be a shooting foul. And there's a foul number four, Ryan Gauthier. Gauthier. Eight seventeen left first quarter. Should be four nothing in favor of the Kings. Four nothing. Gary Fernandez looking to get the Wolves on the board first here in Pembroke. And first shot gets it to go. So there you go. The first points of the game belong to Darian Fernandez for the Wolves. Five one is your four one is your score now. And second shot, in and out, no good. One of two from the free throw line for Darian Fernandez. Here come the Kings now, number 12. There's Jackson, Jackson inside. Carlson try to get a steal. Outside, number 14. For three, no good. Rebounded by the Wolves. And Fernandez set that out. Houston set that bounce, excuse me. Dimitri Flores shot that three-point shot, could not get it to go. And then Houston stepped out of bounds. Three ball. No good. And we still have yet to see a successful three. And the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Wolves ball. 4-1. Still your score. Neither team doing very well here in the first quarter when it comes to shooting the ball. Almost halfway through the first quarter. Tavares out to green for three. No good. And again, the three-point play is just off here early on for both sides and here is a going inside Flores and he'll get fouled. Mitri Flores is fouled against Fernandez. So he will shoot two. Score again. So we are now at 7.31 left here in the first quarter. It's still a 4-1 game. Richard for Flores bounces off the rim. No good. Kings based out of Manchester, New, Manchester, New Hampshire. I'm sure many of you are very familiar with that town. I know I am. Went to a concert there back in May. And now the rebound, Jackson, three, no good. Rebounded by Houston. Out to Fernandez. And here he comes in transition. Almost loses it there. Back out to Navarre's. Navarre's the green. Green inside to Houston. Houston at the lane. That shot is blocked and a shooting foul is called on the Kings. They're going to call a shooting foul, and so it looks like Savon Houston will come to the line for two shots. It's 4 1, 7 14 left first quarter. Wolves Den Sports Complex here in, Man in almost in Manchester, New Hampshire. We are here in Pembroke, Massachusetts. First shot by Houston, no good. No Aaron Struthers here today. He is coaching his college team. So he cannot join the team here for the first game at the Wolves Den. Second shot is good. Makes the score 4-2 in favor of the New Hampshire Kings. And now coming inside, and a layup is good. What a great job there by number four. And there's Gauthier again. Ryan Gauthier with the two, and it is 6-3. Inside to Houston. Houston out to Fernandez. Gets out to Carlson. Carlson for three. What else is new? Taylor Carlson 
Making a three. He has emerged as, again, the team's top player. And it makes it a 6-5 game. Shot no good. Rebound, and here it comes. Tavares looking to give the Wolves their first lead. And the ball is tipped. Carlson. And let's see. Ball goes out of bounds on the King. So it remains with the Wolves. Tavares will inbound. Out to Green. Green going into the lane. Throws it out there to Fernandez for three. Oh, just missed. Rebounded by Houston, and it's good, and a foul. Falls, Cal is called on Jackson. So the Wolves now hold a 6-5 lead, and they'll look to make it a three-point play here. As Houston will come to the line. And now we have substitutions. Taylor Carlson comes out, as well as Jules Tavares. Dante Law stepping in for the first time today. We talked a little pregame. You see it on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Law says he'll be looking to step up with Aaron Strauss not playing today and the three and the foul shot no good. So it's remains 6-5. Or 7-6, excuse me. Again, we had confirmation on the score because it was a little, little rocky to start. We had a 2-2 game to start. Scoreboard reads 8-7. But it should be about 6-5, yes. Wolves have their first lead here with about... Check the scoreboard. About seven minutes left here in the first quarter. There's a three for Green. Can't get it to go. We've had one three-pointer successfully made here in the first quarter. But we're at the six-minute mark, so we're officially halfway through the first quarter already. Six to five should be your score. We'll get you confirmation at the end of the quarter. Go down and check out the scoreboard, see if we got that correct. Now outside... The Flores, and that's a three ball. Bang, bang, bang. Number six with the three. That is Donnell White. First time recalling his name. Well, and Anthony Parker now in there. Law for three. Can't get it to go. Law is great inside. Getting into the paint. Not too much at the three point play. Anthony Parker again now in for the Wolves. Here's another three. Can't get it to go. White couldn't get that one to go. Here's another three. Can't get that one to go. And again. The three-point game is just not working for either side here today. Inside to Houston. Houston to the basket. No basket. Offensive foul. Or it looks like it's actually called on number 50. Might have been number five. Tarion Webster. There's no 50 here for the Kings. There's number five. Tarion Webster. Houston to the basket again. And this one he gets to go. We are now tied at 10, according to the scoreboard. Should be tied at 8. Well, again, we'll get confirmation after the quarter. And that shot, no good. It looks like he got hit in the mouth. He's calling for the foul. We'll get back to the action. Tavares, Tavares, excuse me. Be Trevor Bazemore, excuse me. And ball goes out of bounds on the Kings. That's what the call is. Call is called ball goes out of bounds on the Kings. Now here comes Aaron Williams coming in on your screen. He'll jump in. He'll come in for the Wolves. Law inbounds it inside. There is Bazemore. Bazemore circling around these defenders for giving it out to Law. Law out to Green. Green going inside to the basket. And can't get it to go. Rebound by Williams. Who is able to get it to go? Wolves with the two-point lead. 10-8 to eight now with four and a half left in the first quarter. And, ooh, that was close. Anthony Parker almost came over with a turnover. One of the guys for the Kings, as this is a three, is no good. One of the guys for the Kings slammed into the ground. I'm sorry, he's all right. And that ball out to Bazemore for three. Bang! And a timeout by New Hampshire. Wolves with a five-point lead. He'll be right back. You're watching a presentation of Mass Wolves basketball right here on YouTube. All right, so I stand correct, ladies and gentlemen. So the score is actually 15-10 to 10 is the correct score. Refs awarded two points for each side. I'm not sure exactly sure why, but that's what they're doing. By the way, while we were at commercial break, quote-unquote commercial break, Ryan Gauthier was called. He was yelled at by a ref. He told, he, I guess he tried to tell the ref what to do, and the rebound hit the layup here by number five. There's Tears West there. The layup is good. We are 15-12. Dante Law with a dunk. Ryan Gauthier was warned not to tell the ref what to do. said if 
You do that again, you will get a technical. This one. The three point seventeen twelve in our score, by the way. We are three thirty five left first quarter, so we have this correct score now. Down to one and gets it off and gets it to go. Great job there by Terrian Wester getting the points before the shot clock goes down, goes off. Williams out to Parker. Parker coming inside. Layup can't get it to go. That was just a bad shot by Parker. And spinning away is number four. Getting to the basket and he's going to be called for a foul. That is, there is Gauthier again, again. Gauthier was one. Yelled at by the rest when we paused for a break. Said if I, the ref said, if I wanted to put on that jersey, I would. One thing you're not going to tell me to do is how to tell me how to do my job. But anyway, enough of that. Back to the action. 17-14, three minutes left for the first quarter. Wolves on top of the New Hampshire Kings playing their first game of the season. And a foul. Corey Green called for the foul here. But Ryan got there again. Has already gotten a warning. If he tells the ref what to do one more time. Going to get a technical foul. And again, of course, two, two texts lead to an ejection. Gauthier, that's a three. Can't get in and out. Not a great shot there for a white. Gauthier for three, bang! Gets it to go, and we are tied at 17. Parker, the law, law for three. Can't get it to go, rebound, and here come the Kings. We're on a 5 nothing run as of right now, and a turnover and a foul. Basemore looks like he's not happy with the call. The call does go against him. We are tied at 17 with 2.37 left here in the first quarter. Mass Wolves and the New Hampshire Kings. Three ball. Oh, no good off his back foot. Looks like number 17. We don't have number 17. It might be 14. That might be Jordi Tavares. And a layup here for the Wolves is good. So they have the pull lead back. 19, 13, 2 minutes, 2 minutes, 10 seconds left here, first quarter. Outside to Gauthier. Deep three. And the Kings take the lead. 20 19 at the two minute mark in the first. That's the first three made. Here. That's the second three made here by the Kings here tonight. That three by Basemore, no good. Here comes Gauthier. Three. And a foul. Looks like it's on Williams. And Williams trying to question the call for the ref. The same ref that yelled at Ryan Gauthier for trying to tell him how to do his job. So Gauthier will shoot two free throws. Kings lead 20 to 19, 147 left here in the first quarter. We are at the Wolves Den Sports Complex in Pembroke, Massachusetts. One of the two home venues for the Mass Wolves. Be back here for 2023. Stay tuned for updates on when we will be playing here and when we will be playing at the Andrew McCoy Recreation Center as Anthony Parker steps out. Savon Houston coming back in for the Wolves. And no good. Rebounded by Williams. Williams out to Bazemore. Bazemore going inside of the basket. Layup. Can't get it to go, but a rebound is good by Williams. So the Wolves take the lead right back 21 to 20, I believe. Let me check. Shot no good. Houston almost lost it there. Williams gets it back. Out to Bazemore. At the green for three. Can't get it to go. And Law gets it. I got the Houston up the green. Great passing here for the Wolves. As Aaron Williams goes inside to the basket. Gets it to go. What a shot there by Aaron Williams. Wow. Wolves lead by three in the final minute here in the first quarter. 23-20 is now your score. So we have reached the final minute here in the first quarter. Go out there. Inside. Layup. Oh, good. And that is White. Here come the Wolves, and Green gets it to go. Five-point game once again. 
I have to go out there. And then let's see if they want to go for the final shot here in the first quarter. Might what they want, might what they do here. Shot off, can't get it to go, everybody. It's about 25 seconds left, so still plenty of time here for either team. Go for that shot. Law out to Bazemore. Bazemore thought about a three and then got defended. So it wasn't happening. Outside to Williams. 25 20 your score. We are in 10 seconds left. Inside and turnover and saved by the Kings. What a nice save there for Donnell White. Go to three at the buzzer. No good. Oh. Would have been a buzzer beater, our first of the year, but it's no good. End of the first quarter, the Wolves lead it 25 to 20. We'll be right back for the second quarter. You're watching a presentation of Mass Wolves basketball right here on YouTube. Start of the second quarter, the Wolves lead 25 20 over the New Hampshire Kings, and Basemore loses it here. And then Kirk Jackson can't get to the ball. Both teams struggled from the three point line to start this game. They have picked up a little bit. Taylor Carlson has a three. But Ryan Gauthier also has a three of his own. He gave the Wolves. He's the Kings. The 2019 lead is a 6 0 run here for the for the for the Wolves, excuse me. It's been back and forth for the most part. A couple runs by each team. The Kings went on a 5 0 run this lap. No good. Foul. Kings went on a 5 0 run. At one point, and then. Wolves now currently obviously on a 6 0 run. The three, there was a three point buzzer beater for the Kings, but it was waved off because the ball was still in the hand of the man that shot the ball. Didn't exactly get a name. Let's look at that. Back at that. And free, uh, so the first foul shot for Savon Houston gets to go 26 20. Second shot. Also good. So it's a 7-0 set, set, run here for the Wolves. 27-20. Ooh! And a block there on Jackson. Hey, Houston is called for the foul. First shot for Jackson, got been good. So now scoring out is 27 to 22 in favor, 27-21, excuse me, in favor of the Wolves. And a second shot, no good, rebounded by Houston. So it goes one or two from the free throw line. And a dunk there by Law, his second dunk of the game. 27-21 is your score. Wolves lead, New Hampshire Kings. 28-21, excuse me. We have a little screw up at the scoreboard here. Inside the Jackson, Jackson gets it to go. And a foul. So the foul is on number five for the Kings. That is Terry and West there. So it looks like it was an offensive foul. They gave him the points anyway, 28-23. 10-54 left first half. Adam Blake off camera arguing the call with the referee here. And now he comes in on the screen. Some discussion here. Wolves playing their first game here at the Wolves then in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Next week we'll be back at the Andre McCoy Recursion Center in New Bedford as they take on the Bennington Martins for a back-to-back. -back. December 11th in New Bedford, December 18th in Bennington, Vermont. So we're actually going to go back here to camera. So it was 10.53 left here, first half. Score reads 20-23. And, ooh, nice play there by Houston getting it in and laying it up. What a play there for Savon Houston. Incredible. And a turnover. Bazemore inside. Lay, lay up good. And the Wolves are starting to break away from the Kings here now. It is a nine-point game, 32-23. to 33-23. Three ball. No good. 
Got the outside and another three here. That one is good. And that is, looks like, I can't see the number. It looks like number three, Dimitri Flores. But let's see, get to a confirmation in a moment. As Bazemore, number 23, excuse me. We don't have a 23 on our roster. But can't give credit to whoever made that three. Here's Gauthier inside though, and to the basket. Layup is good. What a comeback here for the, for the Kings. It is now it's just a four point game. 32-28, so I was right the first time. 32-23, now it's a 5 nothing run here for the Kings. And a 3 for Houston, that was no good. Rebounded, here come the Kings again, looking to tighten that gap. They're down by 4 here. And shot by number 23 is good. What a shot there. It is just a 2-point game. Big comeback here for the Kings. Law inside to Houston. His shot, no good. Rebound. Here come the Wolves. Number four, again, Rogothier has the ball and a foul. 32-30 is your current score. 9.02 left here in the first quarter. And a big run here for the Kings. We'll take a timeout. We'll be right back. You're watching a presentation of Mass Wolves basketball right here on YouTube. 9.02 Left to your first half, it is 32-30 in favor of the Mass Wolves over the New Hampshire Kings. Stephen R. broadcasting this game for the Mass Wolves here at the Wolves Sports Complex. And that shot is blocked by Savon Houston. That's how you play defense. First the ball remains with the Kings. The shot went out on Houston. Outside, number 12, there's Jackson. Jackson for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Green. Corey Green has the ball for the Wolves. Pass inside to Houston. Passes it out of bounds. Going for Bazemore. Can't get it to him. Ball goes back over to the Kings. 8.33 left here in the first half. It is 32-30 to manager score. Kings playing their first game here this season. A rebrand of the New Hampshire Rockets out of Manchester, New Hampshire. Wolves searching for their first win in the ABA. They're 0-3 after a three-game road trip to start the season. And then, of course, two weeks ago, a loss in a non-league game to the Mass Wave, 102-99. Layup there by Jackson. No good. Gets the rebound. And what a job by Jackson getting it in there. Wow. And we are tied at 32. Three ball. Can't get it to go for Law. Law. And Bazemore gets the rebound. Inside to Houston. Houston to the basket. And it's good. And the Wolves take the lead right back. So now 34-32. 7.53 left first half. Went outside to Gauthier. But they're going spinning away. He almost loses it. This one's this is actually Gauthier here. And that three ball is good. Second three for Ryan Gauthier, and it is a one-point game in favor of the Kings. With seven and a half left in the first half. Fernandez. Out to Houston. Houston to Bazemore. Bazemore has an open space here for a three. He doesn't decide not to take it. Backing it up here. You can be careful. We'll get a backcourt violation going out inside to the basket. And no good rebounding. Here's Number three, layup, and no good. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson loses it. Fernandez being aggressive here with the ball to Law. Law ducks it in. Wolves now on a... Wolves now retake the lead. We are going back and forth here in the second quarter. 36-35 is your score. Number three, Dimitri Flores. I apologize for that mistake. Should not be making mistakes like that. Gauzier, another three. This one airballed. And here comes Fernandez trying to save it from going out of bounds. He does. Go, takes it outside to Bazemore. Bazemore for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by the Kings. Here comes Flores with the ball. Flores cutting outside. Covered by Law. Side to Gauthier. Gauthier, another three. Gets it to go. 
Ryan Gauthier has taken over here for the Kings. He is doing a great job, and it is a two-point game, 38-36, in favor of New Hampshire. Tavares, this is a three, can't get it to go. I'm sorry, that, that was shot by number six was Donnell White who made that three. And here comes Houston Law in transition. Ooh! Timeout, New Hampshire. We are tied at 38, 545 left here in the first half. We'll be right back. You're watching a presentation of Mass Wolves basketball right here on YouTube. 38 all, 545 left here in the first half. New Hampshire Kings and the Mass Wolves. Three ball, no good. Stephen Hart broadcasting this game for the Mass Wolves here at the Wolves Den Sports Complex in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Wolves looking for their first win here in the ABA. They're 0-3. Law, three. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Houston. Houston to the basket. And his shot's no good, too. Here comes Jackson in transition to the basket. Layup, good. And the Kings take the lead, 40-38. 5-16, it looks like there might be a foul called too, so they have a chance, and there is a foul. Chance for a three-point play for Kareev Jackson. And a whistle. Five sixteen left here, first half, 40-38. Mass Wolves in another tight game here. Last week, of course, uh, two weeks ago, of course, we saw that game. They were up by 11 at one point. Mass Wolves came back to tie the game at 50 at halftime, and then they went on a 9 nothing run, scoring back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back threes to start the second half. Wolves made it a three-point game in the final minute, but the wave hang hung on. From a 102 to a 99 victory. Again, that game did not count toward the ABA standings. So the Wolves did not fall to 0-4 despite losing four games. They are still 0-3. Could fall to 0-4 here if they don't get a win here today against the Kings, who are all playing their first game this season. And second shot by Jackson gets to go. So he goes, gets both free throws. 42-38, now your score. In favor of New Hampshire and Tavares going inside, outside to the Fernandez. That's a great pa passing all around here. The Wolves Law going inside, back out to Green for three. Can't get it to go. Rebound by the Kings. There's Flores to the basket and a foul. Fernandez called for the foul. He doesn't like the call. Flores is going to shoot two. 42-38. 4.52 left here first half. The Kings have taken over thus far in the second quarter. Wolves went on a 6-0 run at the end of the first quarter. Took a six-point lead into the, obviously, the second quarter. Kings are keeping it close, though. They now lead by five, their biggest lead of the day. 42-38, still 4.52 left first half. Second shot, Flores gets it to go. Six-point lead for the Kings. And a 6 nothing run since the last time out. Tavares, deep three. Oh, no good. Rebounded by Jackson. Who loses it out of bounds. And they'll say it's out on Jackson. So, goes back over to the Wolves. Substitutions Fernandez comes out, as does Corey Green. In comes Anthony Parker. And a turnover here. Savon Houston loses it. Jackson inside. Layup is good. It's an 8-0 run here for the Kings. Taking over the second quarter. Shot by Tavares. No good. Rebounded here by the Kings. And they're just taking over here. 8-0 run. Got there inside, outside, and out of bounds. 46 38, 4 12 left first half. It's an 8 0 run for the New Hampshire Kings. 
Hey, Coach Adam Blake is yet to call a timeout. Talk to his guys again. To Law. Law to Parker. Parker back to Law. Law for three. Law much better into paint. Can't get the three to go there. Here comes Gauthier with the ball for the Kings. Outside. Three ball. Off the mark. Rebounded by Law. Gets it. Then they'll say lost it out of bounds. The ball go back over to the Kings. Substitutions now. Green comes back in. Actually, it looks like a timeout was called. So we'll take a timeout. What? 336 left here, first half. 46-38. Kings lead the Wolves. We'll be right back. You're watching a presentation of Mass Wolves basketball right here on YouTube. Kings on an 8-0 run. It is 46-38. This ball goes out the floor. Flores going inside. Layup is good. And now a 10-0 run. Kings all over the Wolves right now. It is a 10-point game. We were tied at 38 at one point, and the ball goes out of bounds on Tavares. King continuing to dominate. The Wolves continuing to just struggle at this point. Here in the second quarter, they look to pick it up. The game progresses. Another three. Bang! A 13-0 run by the Kings. What a second quarter for New Hampshire. Carlson back in there now. Finally, I haven't seen him in a while. Houston Tavares at the Parker. Parker for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded. And the King, again, the Wolves are continuing to struggle here. And a foul on the Wolves. So, again, the struggles just continue. It's a 13-point game. 51-38. 240 left here in the first half. Now Dimitri Flores will shoot two free, two foul shots. First one is up and no good. Well, searching for that first win here in 2022. And Fran first one in franchise history, nonetheless. So far, not so good here. And that's a free throw. For Ryan Gauthier, 14 to nothing run. Outside, Aaron, Aaron Williams. I got to Tavares. Tavares. I got to Williams. Williams. It's a shot. Knocks it down. That is a two-point shot for Aaron Williams. And finally, the streak ends at 14 points for the Kings. Outside. Gauthier for three. No good. Rebounded by Houston. Coming back in for the Wolves. Up to Carlson. Carlson. The guy that we keep talking about here. He's the one that needs to step up. I know Dante Law said. He's, he was the one looking to step up. He did our pregame interview. Tavares for three. Can't get it to go. Minute and a half left. First half. 52-40, and now inside, Flores to the basket, outside to Gauthier. Gauthier going inside. He'll pass it to number five, get a new moment. Shot up, no good, rebounded, and that's number five. There's Wester. Here come the Wolves, down by 12, 58-2-40. Layup there is good for Aaron Williams. They got a 10-point game. Flores inside, can't get it to go. Here come the Wolves. Williams, oh, gives it away. Gauthier was there, and the layup by Flores is good. And it looked like for a second there, the Wolves had some momentum going to the end of the half. And then that steal by Gauthier gives the momentum right back to the Kings. Inside Houston, Houston. Layup is good. 38 seconds left, first half. Coach Adam Blake calling for a foul off camera. Not going to get it. 30 seconds left first half. 
It's a f eight point to f ten point game. It's fifty four forty four. Gauthier. What did they call a reach in there? They might have called a reach in foul on Houston. And they do. Substitutions now. Final 18 seconds, first half, 54-44. New Hampshire Kings lead the Mass Wolves. Jackson, Jackson outside, three ball. No good. And that is the end of the first half. The New Hampshire Kings lead the Mass Wolves, 54-44. We'll be right back. For our halftime report, we're watching a presentation of Mass Wolves basketball right here on YouTube. Welcome you back inside the broadcast with everybody. I'm Stephen Erd. The Wolves find themselves down by 10, 54-44 against the New Hampshire Kings. We went on a 14-0 run in that second quarter after the Wolves ended the first quarter on a 6-0 run. Now their team's doing too well from the three-point line, but the Wolves are they're really struggling all over the floor, including Dante Lowe, who usually does well in the paint. He's shooting threes and just not making them. Meanwhile, the turnovers were also killing the Wolves, so they look to clean things up here in the second half as they currently trail 54-44 and still searching for that first win of the season. Second half coming up right now. The heart of the second half here from the Wolves Den Sports Complex in Pembroke, Massachusetts. The Mass Wolves trail the New Hampshire Kings 54-44. Welcome you back to the broadcast. Everybody, Stephen Herr broadcasting this game from, for the Wolves. who are searching for their first win in the ABA. In franchise history, they're currently 0-3. And shot here by Stephon Houston is no good. Rebounded by Karif, <clears throat> Karif Jackson. Excuse me. Taken back by the King, by the Wolves. Ball inside Houston. Houston back out to Green. Corey Green to, Tavon, to Trayvon Basemore. Aaron Williams now. Good look at a three. And can't get it to go. Rebounded by Houston. Basket blocked. Nice shot there by Block there. I'm going to rebound by Bazemore. Gets it to go. 54-46 now as we start the second half. We have an updated schedule for you, by the way. January 8th, 2023, when we returned from our... Everybody returned for, from the New York. Three-pointer there for number 23. Gets it to go. 11-point game. Biggest lead for the Kings. The Bridgeport Kings come to town. They'll be here at the Wolves Den on January 8th. And then again, the second game here at Wolves in 2023 will be against these same Kings on January 29th. Both games at 3 p.m. Join us then. Every other home game you see on our schedule will be at the Audrey McCoy Recreation Center. 34 for Law. Gets it to go. Great job there by Dante Law. And it is an eight-point game once again. Jackson. Three of his own, can't get it to go. Rebounded and a blocked shot there by Bazemore. Here comes Williams. Alley up to Law and a layup is good. Great job there by Aaron Williams connecting with Dante Law. It is a six point game. The Wolves are closing in on that gap. Inside Flores, Glizz layup is good. Kings went on a 14 0 run at one point in the end of this first half. Blue all this game wide open, and they took a 10-point lead into the locker room and a foul here. Scoring out 59-51. It is an eight-point game, still 9.45 left third quarter. A little bit earlier on in the second half. And the Wolves taking it now. Law. Out to Green. Bring back to Law. Law for three. Can't get it to go. We talked about it during the halftime report. Law is not is much better in the paint. He shot. Set a few three throw, a few three point shots here today. Just hasn't been able to make a base more for three. He can't get it to go either. And a rebound here comes the Kings. And the shot clock went off, but no, for nothing, pretty much. Got there. Three. Oh, that was almost in. And now here comes the Wolves. Here's Williams. And tries to get it to Green. Ball goes out of bounds and remains with the Wolves. 59-51. With 9.07 left here in the third quarter. Out to Bazemore. Bazemore out to Tavares. 
Tavares out to Williams. Williams. Back out to Tavares. Tavares looking to make it three. Just decided not to. Back out to base. Bryce Moore going inside. Shot up and no good. Rebounded by Williams. Gets out of Tavares. Tavares for three. Falling down. Can't get it to go. Look, it might have been. I thought it was blocked for a second, but I don't think it actually was blocked. Jackson inside. Gets it to go. Tavares tried going for the block. He could not get it to go. Here comes Law for the Wolves. And Law to the basket. He can get it to go. And a foul. On, on Jordi Tavares was called for the foul, so Law will shoot two free throws. Once again, Wolves home games are... I can't think of the word. They play at two different home venues. Here at the Wolves' Den, they'll play on January 8th when we return from our holiday vacation against the Bridgeport Kings out of Connecticut. And January 29th, three weeks after, the same New Hampshire Kings come back to town to take on the Wolves. Now we have the home game for the remainder of the season. We'll be at the Andre McCoy Recreation Center in New Bedford. Flores. That shot looked like it might have been blocked. Williams to low law for the dunk. He gets it to go. Seven point game, 61 54 in favor of New Hampshire. And Williams call for the foul. Courier stepped out of bounds, but Williams, they say Williams looks like he pushed him out or something. And a turnover here for the Kings. Gets back, Bazemore. Law for three. No good. Rebound. Comes Courier inside, and he gives it up and a foul. Ball remains with the Kings. And. Wolves get it back. Tavares to Williams. He can't make the layup. Rebounded by the King. Wow, what was that? Three ball. No good. Falling down is. That looks like Donald White. Falling down, cannot get the three to go. But actually, excuse me, that is number three, Dimitri Flores. 61 54, still your score with 7.52 left here in the third. Flores will shoot two free throws. First free throw is good. Next home game for the Wolves is December 11, next Sunday at the Andre McCoy Recreation Center as they take on the Bennington Martins in a back-to-back. -back. Next week in New Bedford, December 18th, Wolves travel up to Bennington, Vermont for that game. Second shot by Flores is good. And they're saying he gets one more. So it looks like three foul shots here for Dimitri Flores. Made the first two already, 63 54. Can't get the third one to go. So two for three from the free throw line. 63-54, 740 out left here in the third quarter. And there's another turnover. Green can't believe it. Three. No good. Corner, another three. Can't get that to go either. And rebounded by the Wolves. To Law, Law to the basket. Dunk! Dante Law doing what he does best. Slamming it down, and you can see the basket is still shaking. <laughs> That's how aggressive he was. Alley oop here, and no good. Corey looking to go to Jackson, and he overthrew him. We have substitutions. For the Wolves, down by eight. 63 56. 708 left here on the third. And here's Houston. I got to Tavares. Tavares almost lost it there. To Law. Law inside to Houston. Houston to the basket. Layup. No good. And Adam Blake looking for a foul. Not going to get one. 6.49 left here in the third quarter. Still 63.56.
And a jump shot, knocks it down. Great job there for number 14. That is Jordi Tavares. So two Tavares is here today. You have Jules Tavares for the Wolves and Jordi Tavares for the Kings. Inside of Houston, the basket, layup, good. Nice shot there by Savon Houston. Makes it a five point game. Or seven point game again. That's Tavares made that jump shot for the Kings, make it a seven point game, or nine point game. Three ball, off the mark. Taken by Law, Law in transition. Basket layup, can't get it to go. Rebounded by, by Bazemore. Tavares for three, that's off the mark. We'll score update in a moment. 65-58, that shot is good. Great shot there, number 31. This first time we're calling Johnny Dombrowski's name here today for the Kings as they extend that lead. 67-58. Parker now in the game, takes a deep three and can't get it to go. Everybody Tavares, turnover. Tavares to Houston, Houston, that shot is, he is being quadruple team and he finally loses it and here comes Flores for the Kings. Outside to Dabrowski, Dabrowski inside. This shot is blocked by Law. Ball goes out of bounds. Now, Jackson and Tabrowski will come out. 68-58, 5-0-4 left here in third quarter. Kings on top. That's a three. In and out. Abounded by Tavares. Parker, Parker outside to Bazemore. I got to Tavares. Out to Houston. Bulls passes it all around. Tavares now coming inside. Shot is good. Wow, what a rebound there by Bazemore. He gets the, he's getting the rebound. And inside, shot good for number five. There's Wester again. Terry and Wester makes that shot. Back going back and forth here in the third quarter. I'm not more competitive than there was in the second quarter. Well, we saw a 14 0 run by the Kings. Kings still having a, a, a slim lead and three pointer for Parker, no good, but the, again, the Wolves continue to just not do well from the three point line. Struggling a lot. And here's a three from the Kings. That one is good. And that looks like Donnell White with the three. We'll get you a confirmation in a moment. Get you a score change in a moment here as well. You can see there's two bearded guys there for the Kings, so a little confusing end. Timeout by the Wolves. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back. You're watching a presentation of Mass Wolf Basketball right here on YouTube. 73 to 60. The Kings lead the Mass Wolves. 346 left here in the third quarter. Did get confirmation that was Donald White with the three. And here's Dante Law with a three of his own. The first one he's made here today. Now inside there is Wester. His slip can't get to go. It's Law now with the rebound. 11 point game. 10 point game, excuse me, love made the three. Another three, can't get it to go, and he can't get the rebound either. And here's Wester again, all alone, outside to Courier. And a three, no good, rebound by Tavares. And another takeaway. A lot of turnovers here for the Wolves. And that shot up, and no good, rebounded by Law. Number 14 with that shot. There's Tav Jordi Tavares, number 14. Here at the Wolves then. Sports Complex in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Three ball for Bazemore. Bang! Three-pointer for Tavon Bazemore. Two and a half left here, third quarter. And got there, shot is blocked by Tavares. Alley oop to Law. Boom! That man has a family! Dunk of the year for Dante Law. Oh my goodness! 
And the, ooh, the Kings take the redemption right back. Oh my God. That man has a family, Dante. <laughs> And looks like they're calling a jump ball. The coach on here for the Kings is all fired up. And the Kings are making a statement here in their first game in the ABA. But well, what a dunk there for Dante Love. We got to take a break after that. We'll be right back. You're watching a presentation of Mass Wolves basketball right here on YouTube. Still trying to process that Dante Law dunk where he just. Went right over that guy. 76 68 to 157 left in the third quarter. Of course, the Kings took redemption right back as Western made that three. And now foul here, so Savon Houston will get a chance to shoot two. First one up and good. Makes it a seven point game with 157 left still remaining in the third. Take a shot up and good. Man, very, very interesting game here. What a statement, though. Reball here for Gauthier. Can't get it to go. Statement here by the Kings, though. Coming out, playing the way they are. First game, playing an actual game together as a team. They've done very well. Parker, three. Can't get it to go. And Law with the rebound. The rebound. Great job there by Dante Law. Making it a four-point game with a minute and a half left here in the, four, in the third quarter. Oh, and a, oh, wow. Foul there on Parker, who just came charging into Gauthier. 76-72, Kings lead. 123 left for Gortgor. Jackson. Harry Jackson. I got to Wester. Wester for three again. Can't get that one to go. Rebounded by... Let's see who gets it. Nobody he goes... And we'll go back to the Wolves. Here comes Bazemore. Bazemore was fired up on the sideline. Law, three. Oh, no good. Rebounded. It would have made it a one point game. Now we're in the final minute here in the third quarter. Wester, three. Off the mark. What's the rebound by Jackson? Jackson back at the Western inside the Jackson layup. Can't get it to go. And. Now out to Gauthier. Gauthier going inside. Inside the Jackson layup. Gets it to go. And there's great passing there for the Kings. Can't see how much time's left. Jonathan Burgos is in the way. Shot here by Houston. Gets it to go, though. And a whistle. Eight seconds left. 76 74. So a furious comeback here for the, the Wolves, making it a two point game as we're going to head to the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can get the lead here. Baysmore for three. Oh, no good. Rebound, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter. We're in for an exciting finish here once again in Pembroke. We'll be right back for the fourth quarter. Don't go anywhere. You're watching a presentation of Mass Wolves basketball right here on YouTube. Start of the fourth quarter is 78-74. We had a 76-74 score read before the end of the quarter. They fixed it during the intermission. Oh, what a comeback over the Wolves. Keeping themselves in it despite all these turnovers. And there's another one. Uh, I don't want to say I jinxed it, but... Now they, uh, Anthony Parker loses that one. And it's a foul on the Wolves, so the ball goes back over to the Kings. Might be in for another exciting finish here in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Had an exciting one last week, uh, two weeks ago against the Mass Wave. See how this one turns out. Flores out to Wester. Wester coming inside and making a shot. Can't get it to go, but a foul. And they got a call. Looks like they called a travel on Wester. So it remains a 78 74 game here in the fourth. Three ball for Bazemore. Bang! 
Dang, it's a one point game. And inside of West almost loses it out of bounds. Coming inside, I got to Flores for three. Can't get it to go, rebounded. Here come the Wolves looking to take a, their first lead in quite a while here in this game. Law has it. Law, of course, that huge dunk in the third quarter. That one will be talking about. And a, and a foul! The Wolves take their first lead since the second quarter. Save on Houston, giving the Wolves a 79-78 lead here early on. That shot, no good, but it is still the Wolves lead by one. They get it back, Tavares to Bazemore, Bazemore and a foul. And then they're going to get right back to the Kings. Back in fourth game here, though. First quarter, 6-0 run by the Wolves. The Kings went on a 14-0 run in the second. There's a three. That one's no good. And the Wolves crept back in. Tavares. Wolves crept back into the third quarter. Law. Three. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Houston. Houston to the basket. Layup. No good, but a foul. 79-78. The Wolves have the lead. And Houston's going to shoot two foul shots. First one is good, and it is a two-point game. Second shot. Gets it to go. Two for two from the three-point free throw line. For save on Houston, the Wolves lead by three. 80-78. Oh, no, okay, by two. Eighty seventy eight years score. I thought it was eighty one seventy eight, but we'll go with what the scoreboard says. First foul shot by Karif Jack and no good. Ten twelve left here in the game. Eighty to seventy eight. The Wolves lead the Kings. They're being down just about all of the third quarter. And most of the second as well. Second try by Jackson. Rebound and no good. Remember Houston, Houston. To Bazemore. Bazemore. Taking his time here. Look at inside to Houston. Houston gives it back. Baseball's gonna take a three. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Wolves get it back. Law to Tavares. Tavares for three. No good. Williams with the rebound. And the Wolves keeping the ball. And now shot blocked by Wester goes out of bounds. Will remain with the Wolves. Williams to Law, Law to Devaris. Devaris back up to Williams. And inside Houston. Oh, that's a turnover. Great job there. And that is Flores who gets in there and causes the turnover. Now Gauthier inside for the Kings. Three ball. No good. Rebounded. And good. Rebound there by Terry and Western. We are tied at 80. Baysmore has it for the Wolves. Going inside. Back out to Williams. Broke his ankles. Layup gets it in. Good job there by Aaron Williams. And a foul on Houston. He'll come out. Tell Carlson. Looks like he was going to step in. And he'll come back out. Well, that looks like the only substitution there for the Wolves is say when Houston comes. Oh, there, Corey Green comes in for the Wolves. That's a deep three, and no good. Rebound by Law. 
Law said defense and energy was going to be key to get a win here today without Aaron Struthers. You saw that energy when he made that dunk at the end of the third quarter. Oh, and a foul here. Bazemore gets whacked in the face. Almost took a hard fall. Bulls back up by two. 82-80 now. 8.36 left here in this one. Bazemore will shoot two. After that hit. First free throw. Matzo's off the rim. No good. Be sure to join us next week, December 11th, as we take on the Bennington Martins from the Audrey McCoy Recreation Center in New Bedford. Tickets $10 at the door. And foul. No, oh, actually, we got a timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be right back. You're watching a presentation of Mass Wolves Basketball right here on YouTube. 83-80 is your score here with 836 left in this game. Both teams held big leads, none bigger than the Kings, who held two 13-point leads in this one. Three ball, no good, rebounded. Kings get it back here. It's got there with the ball again. Again, the Kings had two 13-point leads in this game. The shot, no good, rebounded by Williams. The Wolves now lead by three, so two big comebacks here. Unfortunately, Bazemore lets that one go. Out of bounds, back over to the Kings. 8.06 left here in the game. Been a great one. Play of the game, obviously, was Dante Law getting that dunk in the third quarter. Shook the whole bench of the Wolves. It shook me. I mean, you heard my reaction. Had reactions from some of the fans who came up here in the booth at the end of the third quarter. Gauthier, inside. To Floros, his layup, no good, rebounded, and that's, not, that's a shot that should have been made by, Gaut, by Floros. Williams, his layup is good. 85-80. Wolves up by five now. To Flor Floros, fouled. Foul called on Tavares. Seven and a half left in the ball game. 85-80 is your score. This one outside. And a foul. Another foul. So, to your, so if Tavares fouls Tavares. How do you like that? <laughs> oh, that's great. You already Tavares fouled by Jules Tavares. No relation, of course. To 23. Inside, 23, shot, good. What a shot there for number 23. We'll have a, we'll have a name for him. What should we do? Nate Hale. Couldn't really, couldn't really, I didn't even realize that yet. Nate Hale. Oh, by the way, that funny story I meant to mention. Nate Hale, I assume, was short for Nathan Hale. Nathan Hale is the school, the first elementary school I went to back in 2005 when I moved to, from, I lived in Avenel, New Jersey. I moved to Carrot, New Jersey in 2005, went to, Nathan Hale School in fifth grade. That was the only year I went to elementary school in Carteret. Next year, of course, went on to middle school. Shot by Bazemore. He was called for, he was fouled. Where shot can't get to go. It was 85 82. Now your score, by the way. 720 left in this one. Kings even to close despite having, a, having two 13 point leads in this one. Not up. And no good. Here come the Kings. So no free throws there for. Bazemore, and a three for Hale, no good. Law. The ball now for the Wolves. Inside to Tavares. Tavares to the lane, wide open, and it's good. Seven minutes left, 87-82. Favor of the Wolves. Caught there trying to call for his guy. Call for Hale. Hale, covered by Williams. Hale to the basket. Foul. Offensive foul on Nathan Hale. And I just wanted to say that. <laughs> they listed it as Nate Hale, but I assume it's Nathan Hale. So the Wolves will inbound. Jules Tavares will give it out to Bazemore with 641 and counting here in the play in the game. And another whistle.
First of three home games here at the Wolves Den for the Wolves this season. The next one will be on January 8th. They take on the Bridgeport Kings. Third and final one, January 29th, when they take on these same New Hampshire Kings. So a lot of Kings coming here to the Wolves Den. And a turnover. Floros inside basket and the foul. So a chance for Dimitri Floros to make it a three-point play and a two-point game with 6.26 left here in the game. Let's see if he can make the foul shot. He cannot. So it remains a three-point game, 80-74, 6.26. Left in this one, excuse me. Williams losing it. Holds on. Green out to Bazemore. Raise our camera, get away from the other guys there on the bench. Bazemore going inside. Shot, no good, and rebounded by Floros. Here come the Kings. Down by three. Floros. Hale for the tie. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Green. It looks like he almost went for the ba wrong basket there. Green, three. No good. And foul on the Kings. Tell by their the reactions, they don't like the call. 544 left here is still 87, 84. Tavares with the ball for the Wolves. Outside of Law Law, outside of Parker. Parker for three. No good. Rebounded by Hale. Nathan Hale. And a turnover here. Stolen by Bazemore. Bazemore to the basket. His shot is blocked, but a foul is called. Wester is going to be called for the shooting foul. And Hale, you can see, is visibly upset with the calls going against the Kings here in the fourth. Lock stop, 5.28 left here in this one. It's still a three-point game, 87-84. Batesmore will shoot two. First shot up, and he gets to go. And the, got the shot clock and the game clock got all types of messed up. So now we'll have to reset that. Before we can continue play. Now they're looking to see what the score was. Oh, 88-84. I guess Bazemore, I missed I must have missed it somehow. Bazemore made it for his free throws. They're going to stop us here. Still trying to get the score. Now they have confirmed it. Now they're looking to put the time up there on the game clock. But five and a half left. 88-84 is your now your score. 5.30 left here in this one. Now the game clock has been fixed. We get back to action here. We wind down here on this Sunday afternoon in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Baysmore going for a second free throw. It's good. Two for two from the free throw line. Making it a five-point game with five and a half left. King, ooh, ball goes out of bounds. They go out of bounds on law, so the Kings will get it back. Jackson takes it from Gauthier. It's back inside to Gauthier from... 
from Tavares. Got there, shot up, and no good. Rebounded by Tavares. Baysmore with the ball, and going inside of the basket, has a lane, throws it up there, no good. Houston with the rebound, but he loses it, and two kings go out of bounds, so the ball should go back over to the Wolves. 4.50 left in this one, 89-84, still your score. Here at the Wolves, then Sports Complex in Pembroke, Massachusetts. Next week, the Wolves are back home at the Andre McCoy Recreation Center. They take on the Bennington Martins for well, first of their two back-to-back -back games against the Martins to close out 2022. Final game of this, this calendar year will be December 18th in Bennington, Vermont. The refs getting together discussing something and what, I'm not sure. You know, four, again, 450 left here in the ballgame, 89-84 is your score. And a foul on Tavares. They call 14. So the ball does go back over to the Wolves, like I said. It, I assumed it should have. And now another stoppage here. And one work goes back to talk to the coach for the Kings. So we're back to the action. Law, three. Bang! Three-pointer for Dante Law, making it an eight-point game with 440 left in this one. And a layup here for Wilson gets it to go. Jackson, Kareem Jackson. Now Bazemore has it for the Wolves. Covered by Tavares. Going inside, Trips loses it. Parker gets the back, gets it. Houston, ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by the King, so it goes back over to the Wolves. Two seconds on the shot clock, and good. And again, the shot clock goes off for no, for nothing. And this ball goes out of bounds on Jackson. Now all the momentum has gone the Wolves' way here in the fourth quarter. They lead by eight, 94-86 with 4-12 left. Wolves looking for that first win here in franchise history. Yeah, hang on here to a nine-point lead. There's four minutes left, and they'll have it. Houston shot. No good rebound here by Anthony Parker gets it to go. 11-point game, the biggest lead of the day for the Wolves with 3.43 left. Gallier for three, can't get it to go. Rebounded by, saved by Bazemore, taken by Tavares, who loses it. And the Kings get the layup. 96, 88, 326 left here in this one. And no foul. And Tavares gets it. And now Adam Blake calls timeout. Three twenty-two left. 80, 96-89. We're right back. You're watching a presentation of Math World Basketball right here on YouTube. 322 left in this game. 96-89 your score. Wolves on top of the New Hampshire Kings. And a shot there by layup there by Law is blocked. Both teams still looking for that first win. Of course, the Kings playing their first game this season. A rebrand of the New Hampshire Rockets out of Manchester, New Hampshire. Wolves 0-3 in ABA play. 0-4 overall. But that loss against the Mass Wave two weeks ago does not count toward does not count toward their standings. So they're still 0 3. Despite losing four games. And now Law will get two free foul shots. He gets the first one, 97 89. And second shot, no good. Rebound. So 0 for to 1 for 2. On the free throw line. the foul five point game with three 
Oh, four left. Big three there for Donnell White. Well, excuse me, not Donnell White. That was number three. Again, we got two bearded guys here for the Kings. That is Dimitri Floros. So now a chance to make it a four-point play and a four-point game with three minutes left. Could come down to the very end here. Might be surprised if we see a buzzer beater by one of these teams. Foul shot is no good, so it remains a five-point game with three minutes left here. 97-92. Again, like I said, we're in for a very exciting finish here in Pembroke. Up to Tavares. Tavares. Out to Law. Law back inside to Houston. Same on Houston's shot. Good and a foul. Out cold on Nate Hale. That's what they look like they said. They might have said. I don't know what they said. It looks like they said number 23, but he's not even on the floor, so I don't know what they're calling there. But Houston will get the foul shot. Maybe look and make a three point play, and he does. 100 points for the first time this year. The Wolves have scored 100 points in a game. They scored 99 twice, once against the Providence Pirates on November 5th, and then two weeks ago against the Massaway, they scored 99. They have 100 points for the first time this year. Flora's inside, layup no good, no foul. They'll let it run. Inside to Parker, Parker layup, gets it to go. 2.20 left, 102.92. Three ball, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Tavares. And Houston at the basket gets it to go. And the Wolves, they're well on their way at this point, it looks like. They're well on their way to victory. Now let's not say anything yet. It's under two minutes. It is a 12-point game. Layup is good. All right, West, they're making it a 10-point game. 145 left. Here comes Bazemore. alley -oop to Law. Gets it to go. Three ball. No good for Hale. And now, I think we can say the Stitter CC to Tavares is smiling. Parker. Well, he's going to go for a three. He's not Tavares. He's not going to go for a three. They can run off this clock now. They're going to get this first win. Parker, three. No good. Rebounded by Bazemore. Bazemore's going to take a three. He can't get it to go either. And rebound. Here comes West there out to, to Gauthier. Now has it inside. And the layup is good. Ten point game. 55 seconds left. So the Wolves... They're going to get that first victory here on the season. Adam Blake calling for a timeout. Rest did not see it. Bazemore almost lost it there. Gets it back out to Houston now. The timeout is called. 40 seconds left. The Wolves lead by 10. We'll be right back to wrap this one up right here on YouTube. The Mass Wolves. 35 seconds away, and a shot clock violation. Mass Wolves are 34 seconds away from their first victory in franchise history. The Kings had two 13-point leads. Had a three-ball here, no good. Rebounded by the Kings, deep three here. That can't get can that get can't get that to go. I'm trying to slur my words here. Another three, another one, no good. Finally rebounded. By Houston, out to the, and the dagger for the Wolves, Dante Law. And the celebration can begin for the Mass Wolves. They're going to win their first game in franchise history. Final score, 108-96. The Wolves get their first win. Congratulations to the Wolves for their first victory. Congratulations for the Kings for a hell of an effort here tonight. For the Mass Wolves, for the ABA, and for the New Hampshire Kings, I'm Stephen Erse saying good night.
from Pembroke, Massachusetts.